In this tutorial screencast, we'll talk about the formation of an imine from an aldehyde and a primary amine. So the general reaction, we have an aldehyde plus a primary amine will condense with one another through the loss of water and form an imine. So an imine is uh, a nitrogen carbonyl variant. So what's the, the mechanism of this reaction? Say we're going to run it under acidic conditions, so we'll use HA. So let's pick a specific aldehyde here. So the three carbon aldehyde, propion aldehyde, We'll condense that with methylamine. So we're in the presence of acid here. And that will form our imine. So let me point out as well that imines have uh, geometrical isomers. So in this case, we're forming the E-imine. And so how do we determine that? Well, we're looking at each atom of the pi bond. So we have nitrogen. On this side, we're showing a lone pair. We'll actually show that as such. So the methyl gets priority. So we would say that's one. Then on the carbon here, this carbon gets priority as one. So they're on opposite sides, so this is going to be an E-imine. So what's the mechanism of formation? So let's go ahead and put our, our lone pairs in here. So the first thing we're going to do is an acid-base reaction where the carbonyl is going to be protonated. So we form a bond between OH and we break that. The bond between um, the proton and its, and its uh, anion there, A. So now the oxygen is protonated. It has a plus charge. We have our counter ion floating around here, A minus. So at this point, we have an electrophile. We're in the presence of methylamine, so the amine has a lone pair. It's a nucleophile. So this can drive the arrow to attack. We then break the CO pi bond. The lone pair goes on oxygen. So what you'll want to pay attention to in this reaction, that carbon is now changing from sp2 to sp3 hybridized. So now the positive charge is going to migrate onto the nitrogen. And we still have our conjugate base floating around, A minus. So notice that the hybridization changed. It's now sp3. So what I want to show now is uh, a proton transfer. So we're going to regenerate our acid catalyst here. So the nitrogen gets its lone pair back. 
Let's draw our lone pairs on oxygen here. So we, we regenerated our acid catalyst. So we know that OH is a bad leaving group, so our next step is going to be to protonate it. So this is an acid-base reaction. Notice that the carbon bearing, the oxygen and nitrogen, is still at oxidation state 2. So we've protonated the oxygen, we've made it a good leaving group in terms of, of, of eventually becoming water. So what we can show now is the nitrogen lone pair pushing that water molecule out. So this is an elimination reaction, and remember eliminations always form a pi bond. So let's just show minus H2O here. So notice that the nitrogen now is positive. We have our counter ion here, A minus, our conjugate base. That's going to deprotonate. Nitrogen then gets its lone pair back. We end up with our imine, plus we've regenerated our acid catalyst. So we show the, the catalytic acid in square brackets. That shows you that it's not incorporated into the product. Uh, it's just used basically to activate um, for bond formation and, and, and bond breaking. So to recap, we've taken an aldehyde, a primary amine under acidic conditions to form an E-imine.